Hello guys and welcome back. So now in this video we will add a muzzle flash to our rifle and also we will add an impact effect. For example if we hit this truck then we will add an impact effect on that and as you know for different things we have different effects for the enemy. We have a blood effect for the drone. We have that spark kind of effect and for this we will have a bullet impact okay. But first of all, let's start from the muzzle spark, or if you can say muzzle flash. If you open up the asset store, you can find this war effects, or you can use your own particle system. Okay, you are free to do that. But if you are following me, then I use this war effects. You can just simply add this to your assets, and then you can add this inside your Unity project. Okay. Shout out to the creator of this Unity asset. As you can see, here is the file size. Okay, you can download it and you can just play around with it and make your own particle systems. Okay, and let me tell you guys that I don't own any of the assets in this game. Okay, I just own this warehouse. Okay. And these are assets are uh, freely available on the asset store. You can download it or whatever you want. Or you can use your own assets, your own environment, your own enemies, player, and whatever you want. Okay. So right here you can see this uh, render file, which is mother spark. I will extract this here. And as you can see, we have a prefabs folder, and then we have this JMO assets. This is basically this asset, okay? But I created some of my own, okay? I kind of redesigned the particle system inside this JMO asset. And as you can see, these are that effects, okay? And we need this JMO uh, asset for this, or else it will not work. Okay, so what I will do, I will select all of these and drag and drop it inside the prefabs folder like that and then I will simply drag and drop this inside this main assets folder so just drop that there and now it will just take its time for the importing so we need to wait for it okay so now we have the gm assets right here Okay, and if you see in here, there are different types of effect. Okay, for example, for the fire, you can find different types of effects. As you can see, you can just redesign them and make your own out of this all. Okay, and as you can see, I have created my own effects out of that. Okay, we have the impact effect different types of effect okay we have the okay this is the particle light okay which is needed for the muzzle flash okay so we didn't have the muzzle flash so let me go back where I gave it here muzzle spark or you can say muzzle flash but I will call it muzzle spark just simply and drop that in here and as you can see I have this Muzzle spark right here. So now we have everything right here. Let me decrease the scale of this muzzle spark. As you can see, it was really big. And when we add it, let me move it up here. Okay, change the scale to one and uh, click. On this and click on apply all okay now we can click on this unpack completely now go inside the player then the body and right here drag and drop this muzzle spark inside this tomato mesh okay because the muzzle spark will move by recording to the play Gun, okay, so let me run right there.
Okay, we have that assigned. Now let's type code for it in the rifle script. And then inside this header, which is rifle effects, we will first of all need a basically we will need to assign the particle system. Okay, so we will create a particle system by the name of muzzle spark. Okay, go back right here. It really takes too much time. Okay, so now we have the muzzle spark right there. Let's assign this muzzle spark there. Okay, we can solve this issue. Okay. We completed our rifle, okay? So inside this shoot function, before this raycast or after this raycast, you can just simply type muzzle spark dot play and that's it muzzle spark dot play now whenever we try to shoot okay we press the fire one button this muzzle spark will play so let's go ahead and test it out save the script okay now if we play again And now let's try to fire as you can see the mother flash will play. Okay. But as you see, we don't have animations for our rifle. So that's why it is shown right there. We will show this muzzle spark right here at the tip of this silencer of this rifle. Okay. But that is for the future. Okay, we will do that. In the upcoming videos for now as you know that our muzzle flash is now working now let's create the impact effect okay for example if we hit this object then we want to show some impact effect for example this one okay this impact effect we have two impact effect which is impact one and just impact so we will show this impact okay we can whoops Okay, we will add this impact effect on this blue color of this one. For this, what we will do right here in the rifle effects, we will say public. And let's say game object. And let's name it as impact effect. Okay. Now let's go ahead to Unity. Let's click on this and now we need to provide the impact of the area. Just provide that here. And now we want to show this impact effect where we shoot. For example, if we shoot right here, then we want to show the impact effect right here. Okay, so we need to get the transform of that. So for that inside this if condition let's create a game object by the name of impact go and we will instantiate in here let's give it the impact effect then the point we want to instantiate the impact effect is going to be hit info dot point and then we also want to give it a rotation and the normal thing to do right here is that point out the particles from the surface okay so for that purposes we use the surface normal you can go ahead and search for surface normal and see how that works it is actually a three-dimensional vector that is perpendicular to the surface which means that it points straight out so as you know our instantiate doesn't take the directions it takes the quaternion so for that we will say quaternion dot look rotation 
and then we will say check info dot normal so basically this will take the direction and convert it into quaternions and then the direction is going to be it's not normal so after this we want to destroy this uh, impact effect after some time okay so for that we will say destroy the impact go after 0.05 f okay now save this go inside unity as you know we have assigned the impact effect now let's play the game and you will notice that when we try to hit the ground as you can see the middle flash plays but it doesn't show any impact effect but if we try to hit this as you can see there is the impact effect going on there okay but it just destroyed really quick so for that let's change this to 5f okay let's go back play the game and as you can see now you can see the impact effect there okay and you can see it looks really beautiful as if as if it is real as you can see okay but now it is it is not going on from there so that's why we need to make this time for example one okay and if you actually move this code outside this if condition and then if you play the game it will show the impact effect wherever you shoot the bullet as you can see it shows the impact effect everywhere as you can see okay if you want to add some default impact effect for everywhere right here then you can do that but i just want the impact effect on the enemies and uh, on this object as well this truck so that's why i keep this code inside this if condition okay inside this if condition in which we say that if it is the object then we want to damage that object and also we want to show the impact effect on that object okay and for example if you want to show uh, impact effect on whatever you hit then you can just simply type that code outside the if condition okay i hope you now get it how to add the model flash impact effect with this term see you guys in the next video